small flag icon on the top menu bar. If you click on that flag icon, you'll get a brand new page, which will show you um, a series of boxes for electricity and gas. Now, uh, these boxes are entirely optional. You can turn every, you can keep everything turned off, or uh, including the monthly report, which will now uh, live here. Or you can select whichever alerts you wish to receive. Uh, now, these alerts are, um, there's four different ones. I'll go through each one and then I'll explain to you how they work. There's a normal alert, which will send you an alert within a seven day window. If everything is fairly normal uh, or has been normal in, in terms of your, your electricity usage. Uh, there's an abnormal alert, so that will send you an alert if something goes slightly above uh, normal, um, but it's within, um, it, it's not too concerning, let's just say. So I might leave that one off. There's a high alert, so this will send you a notification uh, if there's high usage detective, detected within a three hour window. And there's very high uh, alert, which will send you a notification if there's very high usage within a three hour window. Now, um, these alerts will not be triggered if you simply charge your EV or use the dishwasher and washing machine at the same time. Uh, they, will, they will be based on your energy usage over the last 365 days of data, if we have it, and it will... it it's built a profile of your behavior and so will only get triggered if there's something that is completely out of sync with your normal energy usage patterns. So you know, with these uh, alerts have been built with the, uh, the help of the University of Strathclyde uh, using really uh, advanced um, AI tools as well. So uh, we think the, this is a great advancement in using your smart meter data for your benefit to, to help you stay on top of uh, any energy usage anomalies that might occur in the, ha in the house. Um, for instance, a trigger might go off if you leave the iron on or if you leave a heater on um, or if there's an electrical fault within the home or if your smart meter data, which ha we have seen happen, um, starts to malfunction. Um, so that's when these alerts would be would be triggered. So as mentioned, the monthly report uh, now uh, option also sits in here. So if you want a monthly report, which will include any time spent in the alerts, um, you can now opt in for your monthly report. We, with the previous monthly reports, we know we're, we're not uh, necessarily cutting edge, but the new monthly report, we feel, is, is a lot, lot better. So please give it a go. Um, so you can set up your alerts for electricity. Equally, you can set them up the same way for gas. Um, make sure you always update the preferences to ensure that those alerts uh, options that you've you've selected have been saved um, and also there's a holiday option so you can pause alerts if you go on holiday and addi the additional benefit of that is that the data uh, your usage data when you're away on holiday will not be um, stored for future alerts um, so that's um, worth doing as well so yeah uh, AI alerts, um, it's available in the app stores now, so please go and um, download the new version and set up your alerts. Thank you very much.